What's up, y'all? We at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Um, if you don't know, this is the new addition to the Smithsonian. I think it's almost two years old. I'm not sure exactly when it opened, but I'm pretty sure that President Obama did like the opening. So we actually got the time passes. So we'll be going in shortly. We're gonna get in line because they have the time entry passes, but you have to be up at 6.30 in the morning to get the time entry passes. And you can only get up to four time entry passes at one time. And then they have to show um, either on your phone or you have to print them out, but you can also take a screenshot. So that's pretty cool. I'm about to show y'all the line because it's ridiculous right now. Yesterday we came over here and the line wasn't like that bad, probably because it's an overcast day, but today it's nice and sunny out and everybody's out in traffic. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for a few more people in our party, but we're about to go in at 1.30, so yeah, I don't know if I can film filming here. I mean, I might be able to get like a few clips so y'all can see, but this is something that you want to go and see yourself probably. Loudy, loudy. That's the line, y'all. See how it stretches way back here? It wasn't half of this yesterday, but today's a nice day, and you can start getting the walk up tickets at 1 p.m. So. That's what it's looking like right now. Try to step back and show y'all the whole thing. It's, it's a big building, so yeah. Try to show y'all as much as I can. So it's, it's right there. And you know, it's right in the center of everything. It's right by the National Mall. You have the monument over here. over here uh, next to Capitol Hill. So yeah, it's in the center of everything. Third good marshal. Huh? Third good marshal. The church, governments, and companies invested in the business of slavery. Houses in colonial North America transform their profits into position and power. Lawrence sold thousands of enslaved Africans in the same diamonds. Thank you. 
In most instances, the condition of slavery was not yet defined. In some instances, a few Africans in America limited to police on large plantations, enslaved people made up the black majority. This enabled them to maintain cultural practices and create new American cultures. In large port cities, with the reliance on enslaved populations, new laws defined who was enslaved and who was free. By 1750, the system of slavery was racialized and has become more uniform. The law based slavery on African descent and made it hereditary and lifelong. Yet black freedom was limited. Free African Americans were required to carry freedom papers or wear badges that identified them, or they risked being kidnapped and sold into slavery. They responded to discrimination in different ways. From the impassioned cry of Henry Highland Garnett and the radical voice of David. Y'all remember in um what's the movie with Nat Nate Parker? He made the movie about Nat Turner and he had that Bible and it was super big, but this is the actual size of the Bible, y'all.
In the city, African Americans harsh racial domination of the South. Sometimes, make me wonder how I keep going on. You, 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 you,
United States seek the nomination of the Democratic Party for the presidency. Oh, so you're one level yet. You're still on that middle level. Okay. Yep. Oh, actually. Okay, yeah, I think I am. We're, we're on the opposite side of the floor you're on. Uh, we're by. Uh, But it says I too am America, and that's a quote by Langston Hughes.
shop will be closing in 30 minutes. So I just wanted to add this part at the end of the tour of the National Museum of African American History and Culture um, just to let you guys know that I really enjoyed it going up to you know the DMV area that was the one thing that I wanted um, to see and I got to see it so although it was difficult to get the tickets and right now they really only have two ways actually well they have three ways of getting tickets um i just wanted to address how hard it is to i guess kind of get in there if you only have a limited amount of time in the area and that's something that you want to go see um so i suggest either you plan the trip out months in advance or um because you can plan the trip out months in advance and you know see whatever they have available i think for the time that we were there in at the end of june they had dates available in, in september I want to say and then um, like so I guess any time after that so if you want to plan out the trip like that you can do that or if you're up there and you happen to not have tickets I think the best way is to get up early in the morning um, 6 o'clock and I think the tickets release online at 630 and you can get four tickets at a time so if you use multiple devices then you can get more um, 
and you can't use your phone you have to use actual like you can use the iPad because that's how we got ours but an iPad I guess or a computer um and then the other way is the walk-up tickets which are only available as far as I know at 1 p.m. on the weekdays so it just depends um the only thing I would say is there's so much information in there that you should definitely schedule a time to come back because we got in there at 1 30 and literally stayed in there until it closed like we didn't have enough time to get through everything like thoroughly and look at everything that we wanted to look at we got to browse but we didn't get to actually like you know read all the information that they had so it's just it's packed with information um definitely like you know take your kids your whole family and yeah like it was something great to see i tried to put you know as many clips as i could in here to let y'all see you know a little bit but all out of everything you know that i got that was still just a small portion of everything that they have in there for you to see so i would definitely suggest uh you going to the museum to actually see it yourself um and I did get a hat. It was $20. I got that from the pop-up shop. I didn't even get a chance to go into the actual gift shop. Um, and another thing that I forgot to put in here was that my brother got a plate. Um, they have a cafe and they sell soul food. And so he got some catfish and might have got some fries. I don't remember, but it was expensive. It was like, it might have been like $23 or $25. Um, that's not including a drink or anything like added or anything like that like if you want dessert so yeah it looked really good but it was expensive um i got a hat from the gift shop that was twenty dollars and i will try to insert a picture of the hat um i'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.